for you. Right, well, it's show I've time. Never, I've never seen your show, so I don't know even know what happens. You guys have themes? Yeah. No, we just hang out. We just Joe, hang out. You, uh, can you record too? Yeah. You do it once a week. Absolutely. You do it? Yeah, yeah, we do it once a week for now, and maybe once once the listeners pick up, maybe do a little premium. Yeah, what happens yeah. if the listeners don't pick up? Well, and we, you, you know, know what? It's a labor of love. You guys, like a band. you guys are like a band where you're like, oh, you know, we got to get a new bass player. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're actually getting Flea to replace Dalton in a couple months. That would work. I mean, he also I'm, shit his pants. I've gone through like five uh, sidekicks on my show. I don't even know what's coming or going anymore. So it's, you know, with a podcast, <laughs> podcast is weird because you're like, no one's really making you do it. Yeah. I mean, no. I guess In fact, people what's... have begged us to stop. Exactly. Yeah. So people, <laughs> like, like, people like, my first part, when I first, first started doing, I used to do it at the, uh, above the comedy cellar and I was supposedly the star of the show and that my, my producer engineer sidekick, Lenny Marcus was the, was, you know, whatever, but him and Bob, Bobby Kelly was our, our boss, even though I signed a contract where I got no money, but, uh, <laughs> He would have lunch with Lenny every week. He would have lunch with Lenny every week. And I'm like, why are you having lunch with Lenny? I'm the star of the fucking show. And then, <laughs> and then he, he would just, him and Lenny would talk about me. I'm like, why don't you just talk to me? You know? So it's just, but, but my point is most times you don't have a producer trying to keep you guys together. And in this case, the producer was like, or executive producer was trying to tear us apart by like always taking Lenny's side of the story. So it's tricky because you don't have a fucking you don't have a boss. Yeah, yeah. I guess we need there, a boss. Maybe Bobby Kelly. <laughs> Bobby Kelly just does love lunch. To be fair, so maybe that's <laughs> that was the problem. What's what's that love lunch? <laughs> he he's loves big, lunch. He's bad. Oh, he loves lunch. I thought he did. A, I thought he, <laughs> did you yeah, think it was a dating show? <laughs> love lunch. <laughs> yeah, w- welcome love back lunch. to love lunch. The fat bachelor. <laughs> Love lunch. The bachelor. Yeah. No, I thought he, that's what he called it. The love lunch. The love lunch. The love. Bobby you Lenny. know what, dude? I love lo- Welcome back to love lunch, dude. Then he said, uh, uh, then I did my show with him and he said, I did a couple weeks ago, I did a, his show. And then I was talking about, you know, why didn't you ever take me to lunch? He goes, I'm not going to go to New Jersey. It's like, you're a fucking fat idiot. You're not just an idiot. You're fat too. Like, <laughs> I go, I go, I go. I could have met you in. Well, you think I can't meet you? You think I my legs don't work? I couldn't meet you at the fucking comedy cellar. We could have some fucking cold soup. So it's just yeah. It's, I was like, this is what I'm dealing with. This this that was my boss. He's like, you can't do another. At one point, I would do want to do another show. Mm-hmm. He goes, you can't do another show. You're doing my show. I go. You're not paying me. I have a contract where you pay me zero dollars. So it's like, I'm a fucking grown man. You can't tell me I have a. Con- I've never signed a contract where I didn't get paid, except my marriage contract. <laughs> so fuck you, you fat fuck. Yeah, that yeah. just sounds like a pinky swear, like at best. It is. It's like <laughs> yeah. a joke. I mean, if somebody else wanted me to do a podcast where they would pay me, I'm like, I'll do both. He goes, you can't do both. You're doing this. You already. We have a contract. I'm like a contract. It's like made of made of candy. <laughs> <laughs> like it's, it doesn't yeah, yeah. Like, let's go to let's go to court and have the judge laugh at you Hell yeah. that's smart yeah to make a contract made of food so bobby will eat it yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, where, where's the boy. fucking contract <laughs> Car- with barbecue sauce here's the contract sign it i gotta Hell stop yeah. eating these fucking contracts i'm, I'm being run dry i'm yeah, hemorrhaging just... money because i keep eating all the contracts <laughs> i keep so... fucking eating these contracts dude it was so stupid. I was like, what are, what are we even talking about? Let's go to court. Yeah. Let's Did he still court. make you fill out a W-4? Yeah. No, I mean, I got one. Well, I got money once from them when they, Mike Birbiglia's improv movie came out. I guess they had a budget to advertise at every, on every Riot Cash show. So I got a check for $212. That's the only money I made there. You know, Bobby's oh, yeah. like, come on. You know what, dude? You're going to shows. And he kept telling me how great my show was and how it's blowing up. I'm like, what? What? That's another thing <laughs> not about enough for me to go to New Jersey. <laughs> no, I know, but your podcast, your podcast blows up, but you still, it's like, and then what? No one's, it's, people are getting it for free. Then what? Oh, they'll come see you at the show. Yeah, like 10 people. All right. Yeah. 
Wow. Can you yeah. imagine that? 10 people coming to see you at a show. Boys. Oh, man. <laughs> now it is. Imagine 10 people. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's true. true. That's like a fucking gathering. Yeah. Uh, that's good for welcome us. That's to, a legal gathering. Let me uh, let me introduce the guest. Uh, everybody, welcome back to Loud Boys. We have with us today, hilarious comic. One of my favorites in New York. Uh, Kevin Brennan is out of frame. Oh, <laughs> Hell yeah. Oh, he's back. Yeah, that's, <laughs> how right, Kevin. that's how I do it. Yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Oh, I get it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, like the Tonight Show. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Kevin Brennan. <laughs> Zoom. Did you see the video today where the guy was doing a, a lawyer was doing a Zoom video and, and uh, oh. they, they had the thing on his, I guess one of his kids had set it up so he, was, he looked like a cat. Yeah. Oh, oh, a cat. <laughs> Hell yeah. With those, yeah, those yeah. Filters. Yeah, with the filters, and the uh, guy said, "I'm not a cat. I'm a person." But it was, it was. Hey, fun. he's a lawyers person. are cats. Lawyers yeah, are lawyer. cats because they bring in a lot of rats. Wow. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Wing. San Francisco. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What's, a real what's, in what's, in, what's in San Francisco? <laughs> what's that? What's in San Francisco? Uh, my dad. That's uh, about it. Oh, yeah, I haven't your been parents doing. are divorced, I, right? And one lives one place, one lives the other place. Yeah, my mom lives in Boston. My dad lives in San Francisco. So uh, I do hate crimes and I'm gay. That could be like an opener. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. I it's do. Like I got some good feedback, dude. I you're hate crime race. myself for being gay. There we go. You're That's gay, you're, you're Bean gay Town and Queen Town. <laughs> yeah, the gay racist, the gayest, <laughs> John Wayne Gates, gay, gay guy. <laughs> so what uh, is, yeah, well, I'm trying to think. Uh, I don't even know what to what do you, what do you guys normally talk about because I don't. We're just I'm not, chilling, man. We're just, yeah, yeah, dude, it's just oh, Kevin, oh, oh, Kevin, Kevin, have you seen any good memes lately? <laughs> no, I don't even know. I don't even know what people talk about. Dude, I'm oh, so oh, you're in for a treat. Uh, Robbie, go ahead and pull up your smartphone. No, I'm just. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I was. It's We're time stupid, for the meme but... of the day segment. Yeah, <laughs> I was trepidatious coming into this because I know I, I know Kevin and Kevin, you're a very funny guy, but there is a mm. bit of a generational divide. Uh, so, are you familiar with the tall vampire lady from Resident Evil? <laughs> no, that's what I mean. That's I, 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 I don't, don't, even know what don't sink the show. Don't sink the show. Five minutes. In. I just... <laughs> <laughs> Because I just did a show and with this other guy, and we were talking to this lady comic, and uh, we we're talking sports, and she was just yeah. like, "Ha ha ha ha!" But she doesn't even know what we're talking about, so it's weird when you know. I don't, I don't know any of your hip uh, stuff. Oh well, did you did you watch the big game? What game? Super Bowl. The Super Bowl. <laughs> the Super the Bowl, game. dude. The bit. Yeah, I watched the big game. <laughs> what game? I, didn't, no, I didn't watch it you know i didn't watch the second half because i bet on the game so i took the under so when i when i bet i a little times i get too anxious and so i just i was here by myself because my family deserted me and uh oh no so uh Uh-oh. no but then i was rooting uh I, I just couldn't believe how bad Kansas city played but i predicted if you listen to my podcast misery loves football you would have known that i know andy reed is a piece of shit he's a bad mm. he's a bad dad he's a bad coach and he's very bad in big games. He won last year just because he didn't go up against, you know, the San Francisco 49ers weren't, no offense to Robbie, but the San Francisco 49ers weren't. <laughs> I'm very offended. No, they weren't the best team. Yeah. You know, they were an okay team, but they weren't the best team that anyone's ever played. Anyway, Andy Reid's son is a, is a fucking, one's dead and one just killed a, a child. So. Oh my God, that is a, that's a bad dad, dude. <laughs> You damn! If you pitch that to Holly, bad you guys dad, are young dude. guys. You guys should pitch movies. Bad Dad, where one dies of a drug overdose and the other son kills a kid in a car. A Harvey Weinstein, Mark Wahlberg. Harvey Weinstein. We've got a great movie for, idea for you. Bad then, Dad. Only, how, how it's great, not by, even funny, by, yeah. but the guy who killed, who drove into the drove into the car where he, he was driving a Ram which is a little bit something, you know, you guys could probably make Uh-oh. that funny how he ran right. the car with his Ram, but he, uh, yeah, but now he's got a, a, a young five-year-old on child support. Cause he's a bad dad. Bad dad. Can, cause bad dad. If I, had a, if I had a son and he was an alcoholic junkie, I'd be like, do you have a ride home son? I would check on his ride oh, yeah. status. <laughs> my, my kid would be too busy getting pussy to, to run over right. anyone that's in a car. Fair. Yeah. That's you the know? sign of a good dad. If yeah. you get in pussy, good dad. Yeah. If show you, me, if show you, me a kid if you get in a cr- puss puss, I'll show you a All good right. dad. It's time for our new segment, Good Dad, Bad Dad. Bad Dad uh, kills another person driving drunk. 
No, his I son read today did. that his, his son, did. His, did son did. his son did. His son did. Which All means right, the dad set a bad example. Yeah, honestly. he's a bad dad. He's a yeah. Yeah, the dad should have taught him how to drive drunk better. Honestly, <laughs> exactly. yes. <laughs> yeah, that's actually like a big father son moment is like, being yeah, like, I right, don't you shouldn't have to do this. But if you need to, this is I can't I'm, wait to drive drunk with my driving son. driving drunk and you see cars off, cars off to the side of the road. Don't drive into them. <laughs> <laughs> I wish my dad was alive to give me that sage advice. Yeah, yeah. He, he yeah. should have been there for his son to say, "Hey, if you see other cars, avoid them." Yeah, don't yeah. smash into them like a fucking game of bumper cars. That's the oh, problem. Is he's a football coach, so he's like full speed ahead, tackle yeah. him. <laughs> like yeah. if you're fucking driving, pedal to the metal. Yeah. Did, did y'all see the um the Bruce Springsteen Jeep commercial? No, I did not see that. That no, was, what happened? That was bleak. Because first of all, I don't know if you guys could say this on the show, but commercials are gay. And commercials when are gay. It, and when, when yeah, whenever yeah. you're watching a commercial and you feel something, you're gay. Like if they want you to feel an emotion and you feel it, you're gay. You know what's funny? When I, I was, I must have been a gay kid because when I was a kid, I was like, commercials during the Super Bowl You're gay are the adult. height, are the height of comedy. When I was a kid, I was like, these are fucking. Ho-. I like looked yeah, forward they used to, to them. Be funny, the commercials but now, were good though back they, then. Yeah, yeah, now they were funny, but now they just want you to feel stuff. They want you yeah. to feel sentiment about. Well, right. It's the, because of yeah, all of, now all it's the like uh, going on with football. They have to, they have to swing the other way and try to be like. No, we're we're good and we're compassionate yeah. because like, Martin Luther King loves Pepsi. Think yeah, about that. Like it's a lot of that. That's yeah. what was yeah. crazy this year is because you didn't know even what was being advertised until the end. Yeah. So the Bruce Springsteen one, it's just Bruce Springsteen, like picking up dirt and you know sifting it through his fingers and going, "America is a big big country, lots of good soul. We're divided right now." And then it's like at the end of it, it's like Jeep. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we gotta, we gotta find some common ground here. If there's one thing Malcolm X hated, it's not a big car, Jeep. It'll bring us back together. <laughs> hey, you know yeah. what? I didn't see the commercial, but I, I heard from a very reliable source that Bruce Springsteen cheats on his wife a lot. Like oh, when no. he, when he did all those after the 9/11, he used to, they used to have all these uh like benefits for dead firemen and shit. Not Pete Davidson's dad, but dead firemen and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, and so so bruce springsteen would would do all these things would do benefits to you know raise money or whatever and then he would bang the the the, the husband the wife the dead one i don't know who he was banging but he Dude, was banging people. oh my god I honestly would, that's pretty cool he yeah, that is, would probably help those widows get closure yeah, right. yeah. So people would so because there was a couple of uh divorce uh proceedings where you know i guess they were sealed but uh, Bruce Springsteen's name was was uh, introduced into these proceedings. Anyway, oh. I'm guessing that wasn't in the <laughs> I'm guessing that wasn't in the Jeep commercial that he cheated. That's on his why that <laughs> that's why that album's called The Rising that he did right after 9/11. Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Imagine, right but after imagine 9/11. imagine being a grieving widow, and what what better way to you know find happiness again than to get fucked by the boss? I'll bet yeah, those fire. I don't think it was just the widows. I think he was banging like whoever would bang him, you know. So it was implication. Was like he was breaking it's, a hey, marriage. Look, it's a numbers game. He banged so he some terrorists a, too. Apparently, he was breaking up marriages because he would bang like the widow or the widow's friend, and he was, and then the husband would find out, and they were. Anyway, oh my I'm God. That, that wasn't in the commercial. That's what I'm saying. It's all bullshit. Bruce Springsteen. This guy's like the Springsteen's the COVID of fucking. And like anyone oh, yeah. gathered together gets right. fucked by Spring. <laughs> I'm sure those firefighters were looking de- up from hell, though, and being like, hell yeah. Because you know your wife's going to get dick after like yeah. you die. Yeah. Well, might as sure. well be, <laughs> might as well be the. F- might as well Why be the fucking hell? boss. Yeah. Hey, man. I don't like, know, look, man. Look, dude. Because they supported it. They supported American imperialism uh, by by supporting Israel and those righteous terrorists. I don't. I'm just. I'm fucking. Well, around. dude, like, no, but honestly, <laughs> like, you you support like this whole false flag inside job. But, like, of course, your fucking wife is gonna cheat on you, man. Like, of course. yeah, if you're complicit. <laughs> Yeah. Know what he's the boss of? Pussy getting it. Yeah. That's, yeah, how, that's how Bruce yeah. Springsteen is slowly forcing them. To the boss of pussy. Yeah. Sucked off in a dead man's town. 
Yeah. Maybe we were born to fuck. (laughs) Brett Brain in the USA getting brain in the USA. What I'm saying is, I'm saying all these commercials, they want you to feel stuff. You just got to look a little bit deeper and you can realize how fucking, what a joke it is. I mean, I like to believe Bruce Springsteen is a good guy, but maybe he's not. Maybe maybe it's all a (laughs) scam. I feel like everyone who makes over everyone who makes over like a million dollars a year, like they do something bad. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, Selling cigarettes to kids or something. Yeah. Well, there's a Tracy oh, Morgan, like uh, yeah. like Eric Garner. That's why he got <laughs> killed. Yeah, he was, he was selling was loose cigarettes to children. Dalton, on me. <laughs> they should have. It's too bad the video didn't have when they were like getting them in a fucking lock. All the cigarettes, the loose cigarettes weren't flying all over. He's like, what? Are I'm losing all my camels. Come on, where are they? <laughs> they turn doing... him upside down and start yeah. shaking the cigarettes. He all was right. doing I need, nothing. I, he was doing I, I need... nothing. They fucking choked him to death just because he was selling loose cigarettes. But you never saw the fucking Lucy's all flying around. So that would have been hilarious. He must have sold them all that day. It must have been a good yeah, maybe day for he was out. business. Maybe, maybe he was doing yeah. something good. They were jealous. Yeah. He, was a, he was a go-getter. That's the problem. They can't keep a you know an entrepreneur <laughs> yeah, alive. Always, well, they always say about these guys that die. They go, well, he said he couldn't breathe. That means he can breathe because he's speaking. But it's like maybe those are his last fucking breaths. Is that yeah? Hey, I I can't breathe. So whatever. Yeah, and it's like yeah, you you can't like literally can't br- like yeah. If you're being fucking choked, like that, that's like a euphemism. Like I can't breathe usually means I'm having a lot of trouble breathing. Yeah. Yeah, they're not like exactly. no. He literally had his esophageal tube blocked at that moment. Right. So yeah, the bet uh, there was a commercial where first of all, I know I'm getting older because I'm starting to be like, hey, I remember that guy and all the Super Bowl commercials where I had the, I used to have to like Google who they were or whatever. Now it's like all like, oh fuck yeah, fucking Reno nine one one. I remember that. Yeah, but uh, I'm the opposite. But- I don't know anybody. My my, if my kids were here, they'd have been like, I would be like, who's that? They'd be like, ah. <laughs> and then and then abandoned you <laughs> Kevin, what's your, yeah what's your most recent cultural reference no it's like <laughs> skippy from family ties isn't in it i'm like who's that <laughs> what the fuck? skippy yeah skippy plenty of, from- if, if lenny and squiggy aren't in it i'm yeah. fucking checked out dude <laughs> yeah, when i heard squiggy that i'm like good somebody i know finally is in the <laughs> oh yeah yeah you Speaking finally get which, a chance to be sad <laughs> yeah <laughs> Official Loud Boys rest in peace to Screech from Saved by oh, the Bell. Yeah, that was, that oh, was man. Oh, that was a but He was the only sweetheart of a known. man. People, people hated that, that guy as a comic. I mean, I use people just shit on him all the time. I never saw him, but so but people used to be like, oh, well, you you know, anybody that was like known for something else that did stand up, they would say, oh, you're pulling a Screech. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I, 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 I went to go um, support Andy Haynes at Caroline's because he was opening for Joel McHale. And it's so funny. Like every time there's one of those, it's always stories. It's always just like badly rehearsed stories when they do these like uh, clubs and they're not they weren't like born comics. And it's funny because it's like it does show you that stand up takes a lot of skill, which is funny. That it's, like, it's like a backup plan for celebrities in a lot of ways. Yeah. Were you saying Joel was Joel? That's what Joel McHale did? Yeah, no, Andy was amazing. That's the thing is like, it was funny because Andy's like a great comic and Joel, like it, like the difference was night and day, like between Joel McHale and uh, And also Andy how much they got paid was night and day. Yeah. 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 So that was like a moment of silence. For <laughs> I don't, yeah. Yeah. The reality, we, were, we were just saying I a quick prayer for too, Screech. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, prayed by the bell. <laughs> exactly. yeah, yeah i always heard it was saved by asshole. the bell curse dude it's it's fulfilled now how about saved by the bell curve and it's uh hey who else died somebody else died yeah cloris no, Dust- leachman no they've all had good careers Miss all Bliss. the saved Miss by the Bliss bell died people. didn't mr belding die yeah natural causes i mean all the other people didn't they all have a good career no say by the bell i don't think so who the fuck broke out from mario that lopez fucking Leo yeah, remini <laughs> <laughs> Leah Remini, Leah Remini was, was in it. That, she was only in like was, the, that mini series where they were in Hawaii, dude. Come yeah, on. she was in like a few episodes, and then that, she went that, on that to... guy with three names. He was in like a cop show. Oh, Mark Paul Gosler. Gosler. Yeah. Yeah. And then, and then like uh, Jesse Spano, she name. was in Showgirls, and her career ended. Yeah, but what was she gonna do? She was just a girl. They have no talent. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. <laughs> now we're talking. You found. 
you you found our the theme of the show, Kevin. Here's, which is here's my new thing. Here's my here here's my new thing. <laughs> Women in comedy is like white dudes in the NBA. You're surprised if they don't suck. You're like, hey, <laughs> that white guy doesn't suck. And then every once in a while you get a Larry Bird, and I guess that's Amy Schumer. And yeah. then <laughs> I love watching female comics and going, great fundamentals. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good. <laughs> hey. He's got a high IQ. That's what they always say about white basketball players. He's got a high IQ, basketball <laughs> high IQ. She's anyway, very articulate. No, it's like when you see a white guy in the NBA, you're like, wow, I, I don't know what he did to get even get on the team. And then if he's if he's actually good, you're like, wow, that's a surprise. So that's how mm. it is with female comics. It's like most of them, you know, I, it's not it's not anything wrong. Is it is it bad if a white because white guys aren't good at as good as black guys in basketball? Is it wrong? No, it's accepted. So it should be accepted yeah. that white, that men, not white, but men are better than women at, at uh, comedy. It should just be accepted. It shouldn't be like, they don't try to fix white guys in the NBA, do they? Absolutely. I wish I could close my computer have, and drop the mic. Kevin right Brennan, yeah. you are absolutely <laughs> I, I, correct. I'm, this is no, officially the loud voice. It makes perfect sense. It's like, it's like, they don't try to say like, we need more white guys in the NBA. It's just, it's, it's a meritocracy and black guys are better. But if a yeah. white guy's good and he's actually plays in the game and does well, you're like, well, that's impressive. So when you see a, a female comic who's good, you're like, that's impressive because it, it's mm -hmm. not, it's unexpected and it's an aberration. Sorry to use a lot of big words. No, absolutely. No, yeah. I'm, I'm with you. Women are Unfortunately, black guys are the best at comedy too. So that's yeah, well, that's, yeah, well, that's because I can't do anything else. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> comedy, what about basketball? Bas comedy, basketball, <laughs> or rap. They have three choices. Comedy, basketball. Those are the three best rap. things, though. Comedy, I love those basketball, <laughs> those rapping, the only... I know, selling nobody... loose cigarettes. Yeah, Lucy. <laughs> nobody likes school. My son, my son does Zoom school, so I got to watch him do school. And he's like, school sucks. I'm like, he's cool. You know, yeah. it's like school does suck. Black guys got it right. They they love fried chicken. It's delicious. They like <laughs> basketball. They like comedy. They like rap. All stuff that's fun. School's not fun. We get duped into it as white people that yeah. school is like where the the way to go. And I guess it is. It, well, it's but, a I mean, if you system. can't dunk, yeah, if you can't, whatever. Yeah. But black dudes are good yeah. at, good at comedy. They're, I don't know if they're better than white dudes, but they're definitely good. But I'm just saying, like. It, it, it's not this it's not that we're i'm not against women comedy it's just like the 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 the, the numbers are in and dudes mm -hmm. are better than women like i used to say to dave Attell, i go if there was a woman who killed like greer barnes did would she be unknown like greer barnes is unknown impossible because greer kills you i don't know if you guys even know him but he like destroys yeah. and like people don't even know who he is if a woman killed like that if, like the presidents would be talking about her <laughs> Joe Biden talking about Greer Bar. And Kamala. <laughs> well, there is there is one woman out there who killed pretty hard. Her name uh -oh. is Casey Anthony. I was gonna say Caitlyn Jenner. <laughs> okay. They're gonna say Lisa Lampanelli. Yeah. Lisa Lampanelli, the Queen of Mean. The, the Queen, Queen of Mean. mean. Yeah. yeah, she's a motivational speaker now. I know. I I ran into her. She <laughs> How's she blocking, doing? She was blocking the aisle at Sam's Club. <laughs> anyway, no, she actually she lost weight. She lost weight. She looks oh, great and she was very nice. I saw her at a comedy club. No, but yeah, she's a motivator. But I think she does, I think she said she does a little bit of stand up. But yeah, she's a motivational speaker because she you can't be mean anymore. I mean, you know, you can't people mm. get everyone gets offended. And that's another thing fucked up about comedy and life. You can't you can't just say like, hey, trannies are weird. You have to act like they're not weird, you know? Mm -hmm. It's fucking weird to like, you know. To just all of a sudden be like, hey, I'm gonna be a dude now. Okay, that's kind of weird. I mean, statistically, it's weird. Mm -hmm. I, yeah. I'm, I'm, the, I'm Kevin, you're preaching to the choir. <laughs> like the, you're, you're you're sharing the loud boy stance to a T. <laughs> Absolutely. I mean, Robbie and I are quite fond of them, but yeah. I, <laughs> they, uh, these guys yeah. are always trying to fucking trick me into watching this disgusting fucking porn. <laughs> like I'm clicking those links. They always put it that Kevin, they always put Are it in the porn. They're like, look at this. Yes. They're like, look at we, this. Masturbate to this. Pleasure yourself to this. And I say, absolutely not. I have a place. It is at uh, the fucking right hand of our Lord and Savior. And I'm not going to get into heaven if I'm watching this deplorable stuff. Yeah. We, we rabbit season, duck season, transport and straight porn to Joe. Yeah. <laughs> We're like, trans. I mean, what? what? <laughs> All right. <laughs> Joe, let me, let me ask you this. What, what is a dick but a long pussy? Oh, I'm not going to figure out. I'll never you know. know. 
when you really think of it. It's like a fortune cookie. Yeah, Socrates <laughs> Socrates said that. Yeah, what is a dick <laughs> but a long a pussy? What is it? Come over I'm here. I'm just what saying, is a... as a grown man, with everybody trying to convince you of things that are not true, <clears throat> you know, it's like... You well, know, like I, where, I'll say where that. Should, where should transgender people go in the bathroom? It's like, wherever God made you to go to the bathroom. You know, so, <laughs> So the point is that it's like I got kids and shit. I got to worry about who's in the bathroom with them and shit. And and uh, but the but the but really the point is like being transgender is not normal. It's not. It's not statistically. It's not normal. <laughs> yeah. This is a this is a fiery episode. I'm <laughs> saying statistically. It. I'm saying mm-hmm. is it normal in God's eyes? No. I don't know. I don't speak to God, but I'm saying statistically it's not normal for so everybody has to. Like, I mean, people go on Twitter, they go, hey, everybody, I'm I'm trans now. And they get like a million likes. I'm like, so I got to do that to get some fucking shout outs? Yeah. Can, can you I mean, you should out, try it. Can you come out as trans on the Loud Boys I would podcast? love to. Kevin, I mean, imagine Kevin, Kevin, all I got to do is put a wig on. All I got to do is put a wig on. Come on, you, guys, yeah. I'm trans now. Give me a career. <laughs> Yeah, imagine you how good this, you look you with a big this, all is fat set of Hollywood will welcome you with open arms. I, I would love, I love if It'll, Kevin. They'll yeah, say, they'll say something like, "She's back." Yeah. yeah. I would love if Kevin, yeah, Kevin goes trans but doesn't change anything but just gets massive jugs. Yeah, he's like, "Come on, everybody, where's my Hulu show?" Yeah, <laughs> that would be every episode would be like I would be I would go into the men's room and then be like but and then funny music and then I'd scoot over to the ladies room. <laughs> so every that would be my theme. That would be on theme song. Yeah, <laughs> like walking in and out of rest. And you say classic trans. Yeah. And like womp womp. Trans trans comedy one oh one. Wrong bathroom, lady. <laughs> oh, it's such a fucking joke. So yeah, Bruce Springsteen. Yeah, he's banging bitches. <laughs> Do you think do you think Springsteen's ever banged anyone trans? I feel like rock stars go go just fuck everything at some point. Ooh. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I, yeah, it's it's not like the Bruce cuz he would get in trouble with with his fans, but I don't right, know right. cares if she, I don't his wife probably doesn't care if she uh Patty probably doesn't care if he cheats on her, but don't just don't hurt our career. Don't take it right. back to the house. You know? Well, there's some oh. comics who like uh, won't come out as gay because they think it'll like impact their fan like, base. Like who? Yeah, I know some Jazzle Nick for one. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. I heard that too. Well, I like how you guys make me say it. No, yeah. it's just, well, like, because like <laughs> Jazzle Nick he and I used to up in San Francisco, and he was like, "If you tell anyone that we're having gay sex, I'll kill you." And I was like, "Who, Damn, who did he say right, that to?" Dude. He said that to me. We were having gay sex. Uh, well, he thought you were a baby, and he wanted to do another yeah. dead baby joke for yeah. his family. <laughs> he was trying <laughs> to fuck you to death. <laughs> I was like, I was like, hey, can I, can I yeah. kind of like ride your coattails as like your fucking gay lover? And he was like, absolutely not. I was like, damn, no. dude, what's the point? No, of I don't sex know. If he is, man, I feel bad. Anyway, that's no, I'm just what fucking I heard. around, that's dude. I, I, no, yeah. I never had sex. No, with none like, of us, oh, none yeah. of us well, know. He, he dated Amy Schumer, which is like the gayest you can get <laughs> in terms of fucking a woman. Yeah, it's, if he fucked a you man, well I'd be fucking a man. Yeah, that's actually more less gay than fucking Amy Schumer. Yeah. yeah, you guys are making some valid points. You know, mm-hmm. um, <laughs> yeah, yeah we're all about get... valid points on this show. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to get lost. Now, Jeselnik is one I've heard, but who cares? I don't care what a guy's doing. I, I mean, if a guy's no, lying, I don't care. What I do I care about is some people for lying. They act. They, you know, Jeselnik doesn't be like, uh, whatever. I don't even want to get into this gay stuff because, uh, because, uh. <laughs> I've, I've already very, said it all. I feel like yeah. the fucking. I feel like I, I heard a very reliable source, that Todd Glass. <laughs> oh yeah, he's gay. <laughs> yeah. What if I was gay? Sources, but I but can't. Taylor Lane is gay. Any. Yeah, he's gay. <laughs> I've, I've heard. Been, I've dude. heard a salacious rumor that Paul Lind is gay. <laughs> Hell yeah, yeah, dude. Ant, Ant is gay. <laughs> I heard Anthony Cumia. No, remember Ant? That yeah, that Ant. Yeah, last comic standing. Yeah, Ant. Yeah. Yeah, There's I heard a rumor Dalton's more. gay. Be more than, yeah, than more. who? Yeah, I, Dalton, our co-host. Yeah, heard, he's gay. I heard Dalton uh, Pruitt's gay. Yes. I heard that. Uh, I thought you said. I thought you meant Andy Dalton. Is there an Andy Dalton? Andy yeah, Dick. It's his. It's his dad. Is it Andy Dalton's the football player, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah is he I'm a bad dad? Confused. Wait, there's a guy from. <laughs> Andy a Dick bad is dad. a bad dad. I have oh, that Andy good Dick authority. is a naughty daddy. Wait, there are, there's only four comics that are gay. Yeah. Yep. They've cornered the market. 
Yeah, the ass market. Uh, no, that's what I'm is, saying. There's got to no, statistically, there's got to be more than four comics. Or gay comic. Yeah, because gay gay guys are hilarious. When I was coming up in San Francisco, there'd be comics I would kill just because they were like super gay, and I thought yeah. it was funny. You know, Robbie, who's uh, funnier, black guys or gay guys? Uh, black guys, but gay guys oh, are, but a are gay, close. A gay black man. Well, a gay black guy is the funniest guy ever. Yeah, yeah dude. They you don't, walk don't. in a room, you're laughing. <laughs> you know what I mean? Way funny. Yeah, you almost Way want funny. your money back because you fucking pissed your pants and shit yourself. So you're like, yeah. yeah I, up. I, I googled that. gay comics and it's just a bunch of comic strips of, of gay guys. <laughs> <laughs> Is it? I gotta Google it. I don't know. <laughs> no one says they're gay. Nick Swartzen's gay, but he says he's not. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. He's clearly gay. Because he, yeah. That's another guy who can't do it for the fan base. I'm just like, not I know gay. Him. I, I no know way him, I'm gay. I know him, but uh, and and I don't want to even talk about it. But you know, but he, I think he has to pretend like he says on Facebook that he, I mean he out himself on Facebook like years ago, and what then um, but then and but then he's when he goes on shows he's like he's talking about bitches and stuff. So like, come on, whatever. I'm sure it is hard. I'm sure it is hard. So that's why I don't really want to talk about it because I don't want to get. He yeah, he comes up with life comes up with cartoons. Out. Yeah, you can talk I mean, about if you're if you're else. gay, yeah. If I was gay, I don't know what I would do. If I was gay, I don't know if I would have. <laughs> You'd have sex I'd... with a man. Yeah, I would fuck a bunch of dudes. <laughs> yeah, That's what I would know, do. What would I say I was gay? What, what would I say? Yeah, Todd Glass do not say he's gay. gay. On this podcast. Todd, uh, Todd Glass says he's gay. Yeah. Where he came out. He Where? came out on Marin's uh, podcast. Was, well, that yeah, but like, that's like that's still not talking about on stage, you know. Oh yeah, well. It's yeah. Gonna wait, wait until a Netflix. Oh, be like a we Netflix didn't even. Special. What about uh Tim Dillon? He's supposedly oh, yeah. allegedly fake. gay. He's fake. He's fake gay. <laughs> he's yeah, I would he's gay. I would believe that. Well, I would legitimately believe that he, he says faked he's it. gay, so that he can be one of those protected guys where he can be crazy and say whatever he wants. And you're like, you can't go after him. He's gay. He suffered, so he's mm. fake gay. Uh, you know, he's like he's like gay Tim, Far gay Chris Farley. But if he if he wasn't gay, he's just another fat dude from Long Island. But now he's interesting and special because he's gay. Total Damn. fake. Total fake. Kevin. Total fake. Damn. Do you think Tim Damn. Dillon's crushing puss? I don't know if he's crushing it, but but he's he might be eating it because he's a fat fuck. So uh, <laughs> I will say this: all no, of Bobby I, Kelly's I, contracts are in. The, in the yeah. <laughs> and I just ate. A, I just ate a bunch of pussy. It tasted horrible. <laughs> so uh, no, I think that. Um, no, I, it's like, I don't know if I was gay, what I would do. Would I, would I say, I, would I talk about it on stage or, you know? What I, I would. I, I heard Ellen's gay. No, come on. No. I think now people say they're gay because they can build a fan base. Like another thing, Tim Dillon, he can build a, a gay fan base by saying he's gay because gay people support their own and they have, mon they have money because they don't have children. Well, Wait. a lot of comics, a lot of comics need an angle too. And it's I don't, that, everybody I don't know needs an angle. You guys need an angle. We have no angle. We're very round. <laughs> we are so round. Zero angles on this we, show. <laughs> I, I mean, yeah, we we are just we're just chaos, dude. We're just we're the Joker of podcasts. Yeah, we we're just living on the edge. We we you don't. Guys have should call angle. your podcast Brooklyn's cool. <laughs> Howdy, That's Brooklyn sucks, idea. man. No, but, but you, you just mock it. Brooklyn's cool. Because everybody thinks cool. Brooklyn's cool. So you just say Brooklyn's cool. And people are like, oh, shit, I got to listen to Brooklyn School podcast. Brooklyn <laughs> is not that cool. Because I did live I there. I know. Like, I know. That's what yeah. I'm saying. Everybody, but it's got, an, it's got a reputation for being so fucking cool. So you guys could just shit. I just say it's not I cool. It's but cool. people would listen. Because they, they, they want to think it's cool. They want to be, be something. They want to listen to something that's cool. Right, right. Yeah. Well, that's why people listen to us. We're cool. We are. Yeah, you're cool. not cool, but I'm saying if you said you're cool. <laughs> Kevin, we're cool, dude. We're if you coolest. said Brooklyn's cool Brooklyn. by 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 association, you guys are right. cool. Right, right. We'll be so we'll be so identified with Brooklyn, people have to say we're cool. Yeah, no matter My what God. you guys wore every episode, people would go out to buy that, like at like the Oscars and shit. Is that still yeah. on? But you that's know, what whatever. Gavin McInnes did for years. Right. Yeah, that he did whatever he wore. That's what those yeah with the Proud Boys. How'd that turn out? Anyway, <laughs> they made it all the way to the capital. <laughs> yeah. a, a lot of times they really went the yeah, <laughs> yeah they went the distance. I mean, you got it started get out as like a getting pussy club and it ended with a fucking coup attempt. So I know, dude, oh my god, did you see that? Did you see that Biden like fucking uh, pardoned all of them, all of the rioters? 
That, that no, didn't, didn't happen. Did he? he did. He said they were just too damn cool. <laughs> <laughs> Look at here. Those are some fun, colorful outfits. Oh mm. my God. What a beautiful he group said, of he people. He said we can't, we can't heal as a nation <laughs> if we're going to hold cool guys accountable for wiling I mean, listen, out every now and then. If, if you start a cult and they're in the fucking presidential debate, then you've done something right. I know yeah. they they name check the Proud Boys. I sometimes I I hate watch Gavin. Sometimes I think he sucks, but uh, I'll, I'll like well, he's hate not watch even it. On anymore, right? No, he's totally black. Well, he he has his own website, but like, and sometimes the clips like go to YouTube. And someone called in to be like, "Hey, my wife doesn't want to have a kid, but I do. How do I red pill her?" Which is like, if you're saying red pill, you shouldn't have a kid. But his yeah. his wife, <laughs> but his his answer was, um, his answer was, "Look, if your wife does, you have to force her." It's your decision. You have to force her to have a kid. And it's like, what the fuck? That's what kind of advice on, is that? That's when he was already off of everything? Yeah, yeah. This was just like a few weeks ago. Wow. Well, I mean, look, marriage is a binding contract. And if your wife doesn't want to have a child, that's a violation of said contract. Wait, wait, wait. What if I eat the contract? Is that why Bobby <laughs> Kelly isn't married anymore? <laughs> wait, is he not married? No, I'm kidding. Do you get divorced? No, no he's fine. Please. He's happily. Yeah. Thank oh, God. Yeah. He, oh, he actually like that. He actually posts very cute videos of his kid. He makes. I will he say. Makes. Uh, she makes him breakfast, so he's he stays happy. <laughs> <laughs> she I makes him breakfast uh, and has to go buy groceries immediately because they're. No, all I asked him. I go. I go. What did? What, how's your day go? He goes. You know, I wake up. My wife makes you breakfast. I'm like, what was it the 1800s at your house? I mean, but that's, I think that's how you keep a fat dude. You make him breakfast. You make him some fucking pancakes and waffles and some scones. Oh, yeah. What, what would you want? What would you want to have every morning that your wife makes? Uh, my wife, listen, I can't, she's right here. I can't. No, no. <laughs> she no, can't hear she, my food preferences. No, she cooks, but she don't cook breakfast. I mean, the breakfast is like, that's a personal fucking that's like a that's like a that's like a choice that's like abortion that's a choice that's a that's a man's choice or a woman's choice i don't eat breakfast really like mm. I, i'm not a breakfast guy but if i i like pancakes but i don't like them every day because that would fucking slow me down you know yeah yeah, yeah breakfast it's sucks it's always calories you don't need cereal you you don't have to eat it's like there's like no yeah but at least there. cereal's quick and go and if you're starving but to make fucking eggs or fucking bacon that takes a long time and it's just it's, it's heavy. True. It doesn't get you anywhere. Yeah, yeah. That's true. I just want to take a nap mm. after big fucking waffles. Yeah, my breakfast, 30 minutes of extra sleep. That would yeah. be nice, yeah. Brooklyn's Wake cool. Up. Yeah. Brooklyn's cool. cool. Brooklyn's cool, baby. <laughs> my breakfast nothing, is, uh, nothing is cooler. cool, dude. Nothing cooler, nothing cooler in more Brooklyn than talking about sleeping in, man. I have, yeah, a, I have a classic. <laughs> Wake and a... bake and then have some waffles and go right back to bed. Dude, I have that's a classic yeah. Brooklyn Ideal. breakfast every morning. I have a cigarette and a cup of kratom. And I'm ready to start my Brooklyn day. <laughs> Please, you guys, I will give you money. To, I'll PayPal you money. I guess I didn't even do it anymore. If you call it Brooklyn's cool, I'll pay you. All right. Brooklyn's we'll take anything. Cool. What is it called? What is it called? The Loud called Boys? Brooklyn's cool. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Kevin's podcast cool. Kevin's podcast is Brooklyn's cool. Wait, what Consider is your podcast this called now? Brooklyn's cool. Brooklyn, welcome back to welcome back to <laughs> Brooklyn. That was a trick cool. question. That was a trick <laughs> question. Welcome, hey everybody, you're listening to Brooklyn's cool with known uh, transphobe Kevin Brennan. <laughs> <laughs> if you're wondering, we have a very binding verbal contract, and we changed it for don't worry, an unspecified yeah, amount it's of verbal, money. Verbal, so Bobby Kelly can't eat it. <laughs> I want to I want to produce this show and I want if you guys call it Brooklyn's cool and I have a picture of the Golden Gate Bridge in the background. We would love to <laughs> have that. change change it yeah. to the Brooklyn Bridge and you know, look how cool it would be. Wait, no, that'd be funny if our cover art was of San Francisco and it's just yeah. called Brooklyn's cool. Yeah. <laughs> what if we that could be our Patreon? That could be our premium episodes, the Brooklyn's cool. Right, yeah, right. Extra. There we go. Elton, we'll record extra. live at your place. It's perfect. Yeah, dude, come up into my office here. We can get hot again. Stop. We can do it. We can probably do it in my living room. Do you live in Williamsburg? I, Joe and I live in Bushwick, and Robbie. Lives I, that's in the new Williamsburg. Did you just say Williamsburg and Brooklyn's cool? And you no, like no cool. one. You Hashtag. can't prove that they can't prove you. You live in what? In uh, not in Williamsburg. <laughs> Live from the Whole Food in Williamsburg. It's Brooklyn's <laughs> cool. <laughs> well, I love Brooklyn.
Yeah, that's, <laughs> how, that's how you. That's you could. You could just start a show. You could just say stuff like that and just. Yeah. You know, and we got people like, on tap. Yeah. It's like, oh shit! They live in the neighborhood close to the water. Yeah, <laughs> that's pretty sick. That's like cool. uh, uh, so I was uh, buying organic the other day, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just seeing modest mouse. Uh, so I was picking a... some uh, some incense, and I, was, I, uh, I recently went on. on a date with a very strong, powerful woman who did not shave. You her could not have kids. barred Kevin more with that. Yeah. Story. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> he He's like, oh, this guy's talking again. Yeah, all right. <laughs> <laughs> he already he already knew the story was gonna have an unhappy ending, and he wanted to spare I can himself tell. a little bit of heartbreak. Kevin's clearly already picked favorites. I think Joe's his favorite, <laughs> and then I think Dalton and I are tied for second. Yeah. Come on, guys, it doesn't it doesn't matter. I don't know why well, Joe Joe's been story. really breaking my balls hard lately. I don't Dog, I because I, I see I see your potential, Dalton, and I see you constantly being coddled, and I I think like the only way it's like dude i gotta get this little fucking butterfly out of this cocoon who is call coddling me my life is so everyone's coddling you dalton because hey, like is this, is this an episode of brooklyn's cool or what did i walk th into th this, this is, is brooklyn, this is this brooklyn is the invention this is actually uh the brooklyn's cool after show where we tear apart oh. the previous episode of uh, brooklyn's you, cool you you stood up real quick and joe just started ripping into me <laughs> and then, I was boring you and that you're the and I made you leave. You, you know, know what it was like? It was like when dad leaves and then the brother like starts wailing on the <laughs> yeah. other brother. You know? Well, I'm Mr. I don't mind. Hey, look, for, I don't uh, mind all busting, but Joe, you're you're kind of taking it too far here lately. No, it's I'll okay. You're it. fine. You're fine. I think you need it's to go what back you gotta to do. It's like part of part of being youngsters in Brooklyn. You guys are gonna yeah. turn on each other once in a while. That's true. Boys will be boys, yeah. dude. We're gonna be at I, each yeah. other's throats soon. Yeah. Kevin never gets yeah, Kevin never gets in it with anybody. If you get in, get into man on the street stuff and ev ask every young lady where she's a waitress at. <laughs> so is that tables? They all and they have 20 yeah. they live 20 in you a room. You just keep getting maced. <laughs> <laughs> We're just crying tears like Jesus Christ and freeze frame Brooklyn's we, cool. Yeah, we keep following them to the train. Yeah. <laughs> like, ma'am, ma'am. <laughs> We're so oh, cool. I, we have I'm several. A... We have several warrants for our arrest. That's how cool we are. <laughs> yeah, you just keep saying, "Hey, I'm a host. I host a podcast." That's true. I got a yeah. podcast. Well, that, what I have learned is you can get away with so much if you just have a camera out and look like you're doing yeah. something funny. Yeah, man on the street. Yeah. Yeah. We host it's a podcast. Okay. We host an open mic in the basement of a Peruvian restaurant. We, you know, we do all the cool Brooklyn things. You guys do a Peruvian restaurant? Yeah. No. <laughs> oh, no, I'm joking. That's <laughs> just very, that just sounds like a Brooklyn thing. To I was very yeah. Brooklyn. I was going to yeah. invite myself over since my family's out of town. <laughs> no, no i no never lived in right? brooklyn i lived the first when i first got to new york i took a train i was staying at someone's house in brooklyn and then uh I was on a train taking the one, the one, two, or the three. I don't know what it was, but it was not the one, but the two or the three. Some black guy started yelling at me, Ugh. just for being white, you know. And then everybody, everybody, all the other, all the other people on the train started defending me. But I was like, Thank Brooklyn's God. not cool at all, because all you hear is how great Brooklyn is, you know, and yeah. fucking the the sweat hogs and and uh, fucking John Travolta and all that shit. But then uh, Saturday Night Fever. But then you're like, it's not that cool not i mean brooklyn's cool if you're terrifying. fucking queer no brooklyn's right. crazy cool now who are we kidding mm. it's brooklyn's the coolest thing ever even when you do stand-up you go anyone here from brooklyn they all fucking cheer i used to live in queens like snap. anyone here from queens and nobody <laughs> nobody would ever say that from <laughs> i like See, how I prefer, uh... I prefer queens that's where all the good food is yeah but it's not cool queens is never going to be cool it's hardy queens is hardy yeah Hardy Lang, hardy. yeah, it's Hardy a, Lang. It's, it's a good Hardy Burrow. That's a good nickname for Hardy Lang. Hardy, yeah, Lange. Hardy that's Lang. If you look, if, yeah, that'd be a good roast joke for someone who's even fatter than Hardy Lang. <laughs> Which, who, if I don't know, if that'll ever happen. Is he alive? Does he? Yeah, he around. I thought he was in jail. That's what I heard. No, I think I, he's just. I think he's laying low. I saw him at the cellar once, and he clearly was on drugs. It was sad because I love Artie's stand up oh. and stuff. So, all right, Joe. I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure it was. Fine. It was funny because no one in the crowd, I think, knew who he was. <laughs> but the, they don't know who he is anymore. They yeah. don't know who he is anymore. His, his so. nose. He's completely. It's like he could be anyone now. Yeah, yeah. that's Owen a thing. Wilson. 
he didn't have any jokes yeah. about the nose, and his nose was like that. And so I think the whole crowd was like, "I'm going to talk about stuff. the nose." Oh, I'm hearing stuff hearing that. Talk. Joe's I'm the hearing. only one that heard that. <laughs> what? I think COVID's the best. Line getting confused for Owen Wilson. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, wow. I love this heroin. Wow. This heroin's great. I'm never well, doing COVID's, that. Some it's the best thing that ever happened already because he can wear a fucking mask now and people can't see what a <laughs> <laughs> elephant boy he is. Oh. No, no. Yeah, if ever there was an argument for masks, it would yeah. be Artie Lang. Yeah. Artie's two, like, I hope this never after, ends. Two years after we find a cure, Artie will still be wearing a mask. He'll be like, we're yeah. cool. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're gotta be safe somebody should have uh, told me sooner uh, howard told me to take it off but i think it's a good idea to keep it on howard poor guy <laughs> yeah there's a clip of me uh, uh berating ha oh, Artie lang on my on my uh webs on my youtube channel anyway it's on my love. Uh, your youtube Kevin channel Brennan. jersey's cool Jersey's cool. Jersey's Jersey. not cool. <laughs> yeah. Kevin Brennan 666 on my Twitter. You can go to my, there's all, all the links are right there. I know you, I don't know if you guys are all, oh, yeah. even on Twitter because I know Instagram and Parlor are the way to, or where. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, we love Parlor, dude. We're all up yeah. on Parlor. We are, right on now. Parlor. Yeah. We we do, are yeah. plugged into Parlor, dude. Parlor's cool. Yeah. The official website of the Loud Boys. We're sketching yeah. out some new plans. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Make sure to follow us on our official website, parlor.com. <laughs> Wait, are you, you know. guys trying to are you guys trying to take some fans from the Proud Boys by calling yourself the Loud Boys? No, it's kind of. We I mean, so came up, never we, reveals his secrets. Yeah, I guess we could go. With <laughs> no, we came up with the name is just like a goo. Like it means nothing. We just, I, I specifically right. thought because it sounded like Loud Boys. It would well, be yeah, it, it yeah. sounds like the Proud Boys, but it was like it wasn't intentional. We just said, oh, that rhymes with the Proud Boys. Let's go with that. <laughs> yeah, 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 we thought it'd be a good goof. And then they became a white nationalist terror organization. Yeah, they got yeah, even egg on our face. Yeah, when we when we created it, it was like, they were like a goofy, not serious thing. And then they became synonymous with Nazis. And it was like, well, we already have like fucking 20 episodes out. Yeah. So we can't it's <laughs> Hold too late on. to rebrand. It, is a, night, it is a yeah. nightmare to tell people. that. What's your yeah. podcast called? It's, it's like, like oh look, the floodgates God. are already open. And this podcast has gone viral. We can't put the Dude, genie back in the bottle. The worst is when I was touring restaurant or uh, touring apartments, and they're like, "Oh, what's your podcast?" And I was like, "The Loud Boys." <laughs> they're like, "Okay." So, yeah, you are you guys like gonna? A, you sound like a loud racist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, yeah. Oh, so he's a racist who's gonna make a ton of fucking noise. Awesome. Yeah. No. <laughs> you know the Proud Boys, but we're we're the loud Proud Boys. We're like the Proud Boys, but louder. Yeah. The one thing yeah. they're the one we thing turn missing... we turn the racism up to eleven. Yeah. <laughs> An extra notch. Yeah, dude. We got, we got these new racist amps that go up to eleven. Yeah, we call them Amp and Kumia. All right. Anyway, All right. uh, the. Uh, <laughs> Uh, you see, Seth Simons posted that article that was like comedy is an alt right problem. I'm surprised we didn't get mentioned. We did. Oh, great! They say, but they say right. like the the true mastermind, the 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 true beast, seems to be <laughs> lurking in the shadows, as yet <laughs> undefined, but presence is felt, not unlike <laughs> Sauron in the Lord of the Rings. <laughs> Oh, now you're well, speaking like, Kevin's yeah. language, dude. Lord right, of the Rings. Yeah. yeah, now I'm locked in. Wait, <laughs> okay, there, uh, wait, he just came out with that article? Someone's going to murder that guy. He just came out with yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah. I'll tell you who's going to murder him. A, a, a Loud Boys fan. And the first <laughs> Loud Boys fan to bring us uh, Seth Simon Scalp will get a, a, a lifetime subscription to our premium uh, Patreon. Yeah, if you're li if you're yeah. if you're listening to this show, you'll get one free. Five bucks. You'll get one, one month. Can you free imagine that? Patreon. One free if, month. Of a yeah. Free it, month. Let, let me say this: If you're listening to this show, we fully support you doxing Seth Simons, sending <laughs> oh, like, mean emails to his mother. <laughs> I have his uh, email. He sent me an email. Well, oh, lay it say? on us, Kevin. Anyway, Je Je I'd have to find it and send it to you. But uh, okay, we'll put it in the chat. We'll we'll leave it in the the linear notes of the podcast. Jesselnick, yeah. uh, Jesselnick posted out the article. He loves Seth. He does. Oh, really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. How do you uh -oh. know? On his podcast, uh, he was like, uh, "I have one recommendation I'd really like to make, and a lot of comics gonna hate me for this, but I love Seth Simons. You gotta check out his newsletter. It's like really good." Oh, and why? Because he he thinks he thinks comedy's too all right too. No, I I, I, think, I think so. I think so. I think I his thing is like, oh, Seth's like bringing up the problems that people are ignoring in comedy right now. Hmm. 
Who gives really? a shit about it, comedy? I, thought... I don't. It's like such an unimportant thing. I, I don't know. know well, that's the thing. Every <laughs> Seth, it, it like starts out. He's making some points. He's like a, tr- attempting a journalistic thing. And then it just devolves into being like, and then this guy sent me a mean DM. And then this guy tweeted at me. And it's just like, well, this is just like petty gossip now. Yeah. You know? Yeah, I don't I don't really I give think... a shit about, like, when people talk about anything in comedy, it's like, this is just not important. What we do. Yeah. Is... Well, you know why you think that? Because I'm not successful. No, because Brooklyn's cool. Oh. That's true. Brooklyn's cool. <laughs> yeah, dude. What, we, what we do, man, what we do doesn't even matter, man. As dude, long as I can. You can't have like, you, that's your takes all going to be like, it don't really matter, man. We're doesn't. just, we're just, yeah. we're just blots on the, in the universe. We don't. Yeah, dude, we're yeah. just vibing, man. We're just, yeah, dude, man. It's all yeah. about vibes here on yeah. Brooklyn's cool. It's, yeah. it's all bull. You know what matters, man? McCarran Park. That matters, bro. <laughs> yeah, dude. Listen, I'm not a, I, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not a fucking show business titan, but I think Brooklyn's cool has a better ring than the Loud Boys. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> the Loud Boys has a horrific ring. I mean, it's more of a saying. screech. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> R.I.P. Rest in peace, screech. Yeah. Live Rest forever. in screech. Yeah, Brooklyn's the Loud forever. Boys. Yeah. We're gonna stick. We're gonna stick with the the Loud. We might. We have to figure out a way to do a Brooklyn School. You know why? Yeah, well, you you know know why? That is your Patreon. Brooklyn School is Patreon. Yeah. You know why I like the Loud Boys, though? Because I, I feel like the first criticism people say is like, they're so fucking loud because I'm yeah. so loud. Yeah. They, <laughs> and they can't, at least they with can't. the name, they're like, well, at least they fucking warned me. Yeah. You, know? you, own, it's a great... you own it. You own it. Yeah. It's a no, good people, first defense. People love us, dude. We're, we're slowly building a, we're cool. a pretty psychotic fan base. All right. Good. Yeah. So you got to get the psychos first. Yeah, dude. Kevin, I want to ask you, Kevin, what do you think about um, Al- Alexandria Ocasio Cortez? Do you like her? <laughs> AOC, more like why you? Oh, yeah. Listen, I think she's. I think probably she's probably like sexy and everything. If you take all <laughs> her clothes off, hell yeah. But here's the problem. I called Tim Dillon. I Tim Dillon went after her one time. I said, "You're the you're the AOC of comedy." <laughs> <laughs> Because everything she does is for attention, so it's like, it, does she have does she have a plan? I don't know. So that's the way I look at it. Like, is I mean, I don't trust politicians, but especially somebody like her, which is like everything she does is is to to just get attention and to make herself uh, to get her name more out there. And everybody already knows it at this mm-hmm. point. But yeah, so I you know like I like Hispanic women. My wife's Hispanic, mm-hmm. but. So I've never nice. seen her naked. If I saw her naked, I'd probably be like, "Hey, yeah. good job, AOC." Yeah. In the, me- in the meantime, I don't trust. In the yeah. meantime, I don't trust her. Damn! Can you imagine being a hot woman plus, and wanting plus, more attention? I used to live. Sorry, I used to live in fucking uh in uh in uh what's what's the place where they're gonna have a where Amazon was gonna open? Oh, Long, Island, Long, City. Long Island City. Yeah, I used to live like r- right there. Like I when I first got married in two thousand six. Me and my wife lived in an apartment right there. And I was like, that's when I heard uh, Amazon was going there. I was like, that's a perfect spot because that neighborhood will never be good. All those people that own houses there will all get rich. And then AOC is like, I don't like the smell of this. And it's like, yeah. maybe it's, you're smelling your own cunt, you twat. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, dude. so, so she killed that fucking, she, she killed that fucking gig with a couple other people. I was disgusting because, because especially now with fucking COVID, like get mm-hmm. the, she was like, how much are they going to pay us? Don't mm. just get the jobs and then worry about the fucking money after that. You know, it's not it's not a McDonald's job. It's not a it's not an absolute shit job where you got to smell fucking greasy burgers all day. Are you yeah, your I, I kind of I know I, I agree because I think I I th- I don't see what the argument against Amazon being there was. Long Island City. Amazon like- ain't going away. Amazon ain't going, mm-hmm. ain't going away. And, and Long Island City, especially where they were going. It's always going to be a shit neighborhood because it's kind of between the, it's kind of between the bridge, the uh, the hot the Lincoln, I mean the uh, Midtown Tunnel and the 59th Street Bridge. So it's like that was really going to fucking help that neighborhood, and now nothing will, you know. Right. Amazon might eventually end up there again because you know I don't trust him either, that fucking uh, Bezos. But you but uh you know but she, she's just she's a cunt, and so is Tim <laughs> Dillon. Yeah, everyone needs <laughs> to chill cool, out. Though. I agree, though. If she wants to sway more people in her favor, she should just show us her titties. At least yeah. her feet. Yeah. <laughs> like, come on. We work that. hard. Like, Did you know working, the... We work hard. Come the O on. in AOC stands for OnlyFans. Yeah. Mm. What a tease. 
<laughs> you guys have an OnlyFans? By the and way, I gotta, the I gotta go soon because I gotta. We're, okay. uh, Kevin, we're gonna miss you, man. What time yeah. do you guys go to? Like, you could do it. We, we like go a to. We go to. Like, we go to. All of us fall asleep. Yeah. 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 We yeah. all kind we of all, drift off. And then, we do it Rogan style, where we yeah. take DMT and ask you about fucking MCT oil. Not Kev, yeah. Kevin, you're yeah. delightful, dude. I um, I've never met uh, you. Don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. I'm a fucking miserable prick. I, I, I can tell. That's why I like you. Come on. I will say people don't like me, and I'll say people are not wrong. Wrong. Kevin. Kevin, okay. I think you're the People, look. I, I think let, I, you, again, look, loud boys guest or not, I won't let you insult my dear friend Kevin Brennan. Right? <laughs> yeah, my I, best yeah. friend. I've been my compared to a friend. porcupine. You get close to me, what? you're gonna get hurt. No way. More but like from a, a distance. I've known, look, I've known Kevin yeah, more like the Sonic Howard. the Hedgehog. Yeah. <laughs> And no. we're all tales. In in all yeah. seriousness, look, folks, Kevin, Ke in my opinion, Kevin is the best Brennan. I turn on people real quick. I had my brother on my podcast yesterday, not Neil. I had another brother on, and he was telling a Neil story. And I got a little emotional, like a fucking, like a Super Bowl commercial was starring Bruce Springsteen. Anyway, the point is that uh, I, 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 might have, I might have mental problems, but I'm one of 10. I was not treated right as, a, as, a, as an orphan. I mean, we were raised by the parents. But anyway, it was like an orphanage. And uh, I, I think I'm starting to realize I might be fucked up, but I don't give a shit anymore. I stand by everything I said. People don't like me. And it's a lot of freedom when people don't like you because you do whatever you want. Then people go, oh, it's like the loud boys. They can't complain you're loud. You said it right in the fucking name. Exactly. You know, people go, if I say I'm a fucking, I'm, I'm not likable, and people go, hey, he's not likable. I go, I already said that, fucker. <laughs> I beat you to it. <laughs> Now that's why, now that's we, why we like you, dude. You you came yeah. in hot. You started shitting on all of your friends and other comedians. It's like that's that's the kind of energy we're trying to bring to this show. I didn't is... even get to Gary Goldman yet. Like, oh. okay, uh. what'd you think about that dog shit hour? <laughs> oh, you're sad. <laughs> what a little bitch. What a no, pussy. the best part was the best part was I didn't see the whole thing, but I saw a clip or whatever. I watched like five minutes. The best part was he's like this big fucking six foot six dude who tried to beat me up one time. But then on top of that, since he's he's depressed, he had to do his punchlines like sad sometimes, even though you didn't, you, you know, he didn't want to. Yeah. But he's like, I can't be too aggressive with this punchline because I'm sad. Like, so like, mm. drop his head. Right. I'm like, that's pathetic. That's pathetic to like, just go. I'm sad, but I'm glad that's over. All that sad comedy. Yeah, Chris that was Chris yeah, Gethard. That... He did a he did a sad yeah. special. Oh he did a my depressed god. Special and <laughs> yeah, fucking... that was rough. And then Neil did his fucking sad little three mics that were most most I mean, alive. As my brother that, said, my brother was like, "Oh, I got a kind of little something after watching this special." I'm like, he made up uh, like ninety percent of the shit he made up about my oh, dad, shit. just the, so people would be he people he would be a sympathetic character. But it's like, we're comics. We're not supposed to be like, hey. He made that up. Huh? Damn. He made up that stuff in three months. I don't know, but he embellished it. I mean, yeah, it might you know mm -hmm. he he told his version of a story. Kevin, you got to tell your version with four microphones. <laughs> I, you, have, you think I haven't thought about that? You have to. We'll, we'll sponsor it. The loud yeah. voice. And the, the last mic the I won't even prevents. use, but that'll be in memory of my dad. Yeah. Did yeah. you ever? Did you ever see like Neil Peart's drum kit? You should do that, but with microphones. <laughs> I just have a bunch <laughs> of guys named a bunch of guys named Mike on stage. Yeah. He's yeah. <laughs> got like micro scene up there. I like and... your guys. I like where you guys are going with this. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> just... uh, no, but Kevin just, I, I, I hate when guys try to get a fucking theme, you know, like my mm. theme is, I mean, if you're black, well, you got a You got a natural theme. If you're a lady, you got a natural theme. If you're Mateo Lane, you got a natural theme. But it's like mm -hmm. this thing like I'm sad. And then women go, oh, he's sad. I'm sad, too. That's why I like sad songs. Yeah, women are fucking sad. So that's why they suck at comedy. <laughs> but anyway, I'm saying I'm sick of it. I, I don't like this whole <laughs> fucking. And then I'm so I'm like a fucking I'm like a I'm like an alpha. Cause I'm not sad. So I go up following one of these sad guys and I gotta be like, I gotta pretend like, hey, I don't wanna be too aggressive cause I don't wanna be, I don't wanna be off putting. Fuck y'all. Mm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm with you dude, I hate it when I was gonna drop the mic again, but I ain't got no mic. You know, I gotta yeah, dude. Close, See, close we need to get laptop. you some, we need to give you some fucking mics dude. This is what you're no, missing. I'm gonna close my laptop. <laughs> Multiple I mics. think, I think, I do think your brother Neil proved that the more microphones, the better the comedy. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, first of all, a guy, a guy did that years ago. He did two mics and then I, it doesn't even matter. But the, the thing is like, I just hate that fucking, and Gary Goldman's, you know, uh, Gary Goldman, he acts, it's like, any, like, like I said, show business is about like selling yourself, but 
but this whole like I'm sad thing, it's like, come on, man, stop. Mm. I mean, but that's that's things they need. I I think it's weirdly a little like they want to like no way HBO just gives Gary Goldman a special, even though I think he should get one. They need like oh, an take angle. that back. Oh. Take that back. Take it I back, like- Robbie. <laughs> Don't say that uh, in front of Kevin. You know who should have gotten one before Gary Goldman though? Kevin Brennan. 100%. I already got a half hour from them, so fuck them. No, but they. No, the okay. point is that Gary, they they need a theme. If you're a white dude. They, you gotta have a theme. You can't just be like, you gotta be like, you know, afraid of uh, afraid of ghosts or something. You can't just be, yeah. hey, I'm a white guy. They're not gonna oh, okay. give you a special. That sounds pretty funny Honestly, though. Honestly, a haunted <laughs> comedy sounds, special sounds pretty cool. The comic who can't get through his set because he's afraid of ghosts is pretty <laughs> funny. Especially in a theater where it's all haunted. He's like, yeah. Oh. Oh, why did they choose the oldest theater for this special? Yeah. They do it in like a haunted town like Boston, like an old New England town. Like, yeah, yeah. Oh, so what's the deal with theater? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, the cops keep stopping and runs off the stage at one point. And then they How say, was the show? They, we had to do say, 200 takes. Yeah, they say <laughs> intermission. Intermission is when he runs off because he thought he saw a ghost. Anyway, yeah. but that's as a white guy, I get it, but it's just, it's like, come on, man. You're really that sad. Okay. You're sad. Okay. But it's just, yeah. it, was, it was, it was laughable to me that he was like, he kept doing his punchlines, like kind of sad. Like, you know, I used to get bullied. First of all, I don't know if he said he got bullied, but he's a bully. He's a, he bullies fucking all. He bullies waitresses. He, he bullied me, but he's a bully. So this whole thing is like, he's a sensitive giant. He's just, he's like most dudes, every, every large dude in stand up is a bully. That's I'll stand yeah, by that. Too. Right. What about Bobby Kelly? Bobby's not big. I'm talking about like a big dude. Bob, but Bobby, oh, yeah. Bobby's kind of a bully, but like any big dude in comedy, Ben Bailey, like these guys are all fucking, they act like they're all, but they're, they, I've seen them fucking bully crowds. Like I've seen, mm-hmm. I see, I saw Ben Bailey, uh, a guy didn't laugh right. So Ben Bailey's like, what the fuck's your problem? And the guy's like, yeah. what? He, he didn't like his laugh. But what he oh yeah, that, that's always weird to me when someone's it's annoyed. Stupid. By it. yeah, it's stupid. I hate that. But but, but what he would Dan Adderman call a guy out because he had a weird laugh? No, because Ben Bailey could probably think I can take him in a fight. So yeah. I'll fucking you know. So they get used to being bullies. So so this whole thing of like you know, uh, Gary Goldman is a sensitive giant. It's a fucking crock of shit. But loud he wasn't. Loud boys. Yeah. You you hear what I'm saying? Loud boys. Absolutely. Yeah, man. dude. We, we hate Gary he, Goldman. Gary Goldman, I you're officially on notice. Yeah, he's, he's phony. Yeah. From the loud boys. He, he's yeah. phony. He's a bully, and he's a goddamn Jew. Let, and those... let me tell you. Let me tell you. <laughs> let me tell you who uh, Gary Goldman no longer the 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 unofficial fourth loud boy. Kevin Brennan, <laughs> well, welcome to the. Family. All right, thank you. Look, well, you're, Kevin Brennan, like, you're like the yeah. you're the fourth Mike. Yeah, on the loud that. boys. You got, you got that <laughs> family you always wanted, Kevin. Yeah, is Bill Burr Mike. cool? I did huh? one time. I... Is, is is Bill Burr cool? Yeah, but he's not big. He's not. He's just you know. He's he's like a he's like an aggressive Boston comic, but he's not. I'm just saying, if the guy's physically big, he's probably well, you know. Like <clears throat> Patrice used to do that too. Patrice would just like he was a big dude, so people would fuck with him, and he he could be a dick to audiences because he's like, what are they gonna do? He could probably beat him up, you know. But I've never seen Dan Adamin go fucking toe to toe with a guy in the audience. I remember one one time I was uh, at the cellar just watching. The Rest show. in peace, Patrice. Rest, in, R- Rest yeah, in Patrice. R.I. R- R- Patrice. Yeah. Yeah. Rest in Screech, time, Patrice. One time I was at the cellar. He got ruined it. Now people are going to think I'm making fun of him. They're going to the ghost of Patrice is going to come and get me. No, we lo- we He's are very. Haunt we your, are your comedy special. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And the guy. Oh, if he haunts the guy who's afraid of ghosts, that's He's going to haunt Kevin Brennan's four mics comedy special. He's not going to let him film it. Terrible. Yeah. I'll blame myself. <laughs> Kevin, no. we gave you like eight angles. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I dude. think you got it, dude. You're like a fisherman on this episode. We're giving you so many angles. I'm so lucky. <laughs> But I gave you Brooklyn's cool, so it's that's true. Cool is good, it's man. a good poker trade, yeah. You'll right, be, yeah. Guys, I gotta go. Let me, I gotta go because I gotta. What time is it? Uh, yeah, it's late it's anyway. I gave you an hour, clock, and what yeah, time that, do you guys wrap yeah, you, up? You, you guys got to do your little fucking menage a trois anyway without a guest, right? And do a uh, wrap up. We do have to. Yeah, do we'll do a wrap ads. up. Yeah, uh, we, don't, do we don't always have a guest, but we're delighted when someone uh, yeah, is that, charming Kevin, and bubbling. No, I had fun. Kevin I'm not gonna really? lie. I had a, I had a couple. I had a couple of laughs. So I'm not gonna. I, I had fun. So I'm not. That's I, that's I, good. I didn't expect much, and but you know, I was a little. I was a little scared when I heard the name of the show was The Loud Boys because I just I put two and two together, and um, <laughs> wait. Before, <laughs> before, before you bird. go, before you go, which one of us was your favorite? 
Oh no. Well, I know Robbie. You know before. Robbie. I don't know. I I started like a new, probably more, and then but then you came around at the end, so I'm gonna say it's a tie. I really think it was a tie. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, Wait, between all of us? Awesome. No, well, Robbie, I like you the best because I he did my show and I, he was good on my show. But then you two guys, I think it was a, genuinely a tie. I, I couldn't. I I would take a lie detector, and to say who was my favorite, I would honestly say it's a tie. Awesome. Thank God. Thank Wonderful. God. Well, Kevin, thank you very much for doing this. Is there anything you want to plug or uh, get out there? <laughs> I like how you guys are thinking about. Do you guys make Oh, every, I'm going to be I'm going to be in, in my head guest, on that answer. You guys make every guest decide who's your no, favorite. Oh, no. Don's just trying to Don's just trying to fuck with me, I think. <laughs> no, I'm so I, sensitive. <laughs> no, it's just cuz we Cuz we have all these fucking fans too who's always like Robbie sucks, Dalton rules. And now uh, I think Don's trying to oh, Don's great. trying to turn the guest Oh, that on wasn't me even now. what I was doing. I just no, I Ke Kevin is like a, you know, he's a bit of a curmudgeon. I'm interested in his Kevin's opinion. just very dis Kevin's discerning. I'll say that. How's that? Yeah, yeah I'm discerning. Yeah. I, well, I'm not going to fuck it. I'm not uh, you know, I'm not going to lie and I'm not going to fucking I'm not Well, that's honestly either. that's You're why right. it meant a lot to me that you did the show and wanted to do it because like oh shit kevin like doesn't just do you know yeah he... curmudgeon no, was the wrong out, word kevin is you, honest I figure how bad can it be and uh you know whatever and i did a i did a show before this that was pretty bad so oh, yeah. uh <laughs> <laughs> well thank god someone set the bar low for us yeah so thank, you guys yeah. Say, so it was like it was like the last show was it was pretty bad crowd so you guys you had you guys almost couldn't lose by following them Nice. Oh, yeah. And we have the uh, the benefit of Brooklyn, which did, let's just say, that did the heavy well, lifting. Well, as soon as I saw their two haircuts, I'm like, they're both from Brooklyn. I, I was a given. <laughs> I'm from Texas. All right. It don't matter. It don't matter. Yeah, I'm a Southern boy. It don't matter. All right, you guys. All right. Thank you very much, Kevin. Thank Kevin you so Brennan much, 666 Kevin. on the Twitter. All the links are there. All right. God bless. Count all, all right, the Thank votes. you. Hey, I'm gay.